Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a dialog using a normal dialog class that is available since the API level 1. But in this particular video, we will have a look at how to use dialog fragment to create a dialog. You might have already observed that dialog fragment is a subclass of fragment. Well, if it is a subclass of fragment, then does it have all the life cycle methods of the fragment? And if yes, how dialog fragment is different from a normal fragment? Well, to understand that, it is better to have a look at the life cycle methods of the dialog fragment itself. And if you have a look look at it, it looks pretty much similar to the lifecycle methods you would have seen from a fragment class. But then how it is different from a dialog fragment? For that, we will have to concentrate mainly about onCreate and onCreate view. The main difference is between the onCreate and onCreate view, there is another method which is called as onCreate dialog, which you will see only in dialog fragment. And this particular method onCreate dialog returns me a dialog. This is how it is a slightly different from a fragment. Making use of on create dialog which returns a dialog is best suited for situations where you want to make use of already existing dialogs that Android supports like date picker, time picker, alert dialog, such kind of things. We will have a look at it to understand how this basically works. So let's have a look at how the date picker dialog is implemented. As I said, this is the class that is my date picker dialog fragment and it extends dialog fragment. And as you can observe, the only method right now that I am overriding is on create dialog which returns a dialog the internal structure is i am getting hold of a calendar object and whatever the value that has been set to that particular calendar i am using that to set the values in the date picker dialog this date picker dialog is something that is provided by the android itself i am not creating the layout for date picker dialog the first argument is context second argument is listener in this case it is on date set listener and then year, month and day. That is how you set date picker dialog. On date set is the method from the on date set listener interface which will get fired whenever you set a particular date. What I am basically doing here is just post the value that user selected and that's it. There is nothing more to this. Now the question is how this particular my date picker dialog fragment is getting triggered from the main activity. If you go back to the main activity here, this is the button that is button date picker on click of that i am invoking a method called as show date picker dialog if you observe whole set of code that i have written it looks pretty much like i am trying to trigger a fragment i have created an instance of the my date picker dialog fragment i created a bundle i set the calendar instance with the current date and then i am setting calendar to the dialog fragment using the set arguments if you observe i am setting the calendar with the key to Today in the activity and this is exactly what I am getting back here in the get serializable get arguments. I set the bundle to the dialog fragment. I just use that dialog fragment and do a dot show. The first argument is the fragment manager and that will just basically trigger the date picker. And as you can observe current date is 13th April and you can just change whatever the value that you want to select and when you click on OK the toast message is coming as we had implemented in the on date set. In the same way I have implemented time picker as well. This is once again provided by Android. Once again my time picker dialog fragment extends dialog fragment. Here we have a different interface to check which particular time was set that is on time set listener and the method corresponding to on time set listener is on time set and depending upon whether it is a 24 hour view or a 12 hour view you want to basically show the toast message appropriately so that is why I have put a check on whether it is a 24 hour view or not a 24 hour view and once again in the on create dialog i am getting hold of a calendar instance which is i am getting hold of the minute and hour of the day and with those values i am creating a time picker dialog the first argument is context second argument is the listener and the last argument is whether you want to use a 24 hour view or a 12 hour view so right now i have set it as false so that is why you are seeing an option of am and pm if you want to make this as a 24 hour view 
then you have to pass this argument as true and once again if you go back to the main activity this is how it looks like you have a button time picker on click of that i am just invoking show time picker dialog as you might have observed i am not even setting the bundle so it is just a instantiation of the time picker dialog fragment and then just showing it. that's all so in both the cases that is date picker dialog and time picker dialog the only method that i implemented was on create dialog i have not overridden any of the other methods this works fine because the dialog is already there provided by the android but this is not always the case we will have a look at that alternate case in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye